Chapter 5 Judiciary Introduction A glance at the newspaper provides you a glimpse of the range of work done by the courts in this country. But can you think of why we need these courts? As you have read in Unit 2, in India we have the rule of law. What this means is that law applies equally to all persons and that a certain set of fixed procedures need to be followed when a law is violated. To enforce this rule of law, we have a judicial system that consists of the mechanism of courts that a citizen can approach when a law is violated. As an organ of the state, the judiciary plays a crucial role in the functioning of India's democracy. It can play this role only because it is independent. What does an independent judiciary mean? Is there any connection between the court in your area and the Supreme Court in New Delhi? In this chapter, you will find answers to these questions. What is the role of the judiciary? Courts take decisions on a very large number of issues. They can decide that no teacher can beat a student or about the sharing of river waters between states or they can punish people for particular crimes. Broadly speaking, the work that the judiciary does can be divided into the dispute resolution, judicial review, upholding the law and enforcing fundamental rights. Dispute resolution the judicial system provides a mechanism for resolving disputes between citizens, between citizens and the government, between two state governments, and between the center and state governments. Judicial Review As the final interpreter of the Constitution, the judiciary also has the power to strike down particular laws passed by the Parliament if it believes that these are a violation of the basic structure of the Constitution. This is called judicial review violation. In the context of this chapter, it refers both to the act of breaking a law as well as to the breach or infringement of fundamental rights. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें Upholding the law and enforcing fundamental rights. Every citizen of India can approach the Supreme Court or the High Court if they believe that their fundamental rights have been violated. For example, in the class 7th book, you read about Hakim Sheikh, an agricultural labourer who fell from a running train and injured himself and whose condition got worse because several hospitals refused to admit him. On hearing his case, the Supreme Court ruled that Article 21, which provides every citizen the fundamental right to life, also includes the right to health. It therefore directed the West Bengal government to pay him compensation for the laws suffered as well as to come up with a blueprint for primary health care with particular reference to treatment of patients during an emergency. Compensation, in the context of this chapter, this refers to money given to make amends for an injury or a loss. What is an independent judiciary? Imagine a situation in which a powerful politician has encroached on land belonging to your family. Within this judicial system, the politician has the power to appoint and dismiss a judge from his office. When you take this case to court, the judge is clearly partial to the politician. The control that the politician holds over the judge does not allow for the judge to take an independent decision. This lack of independence would force the judge to make all judgments in favour of the politician. Although we often hear of rich and powerful people in India trying to influence the judicial process, the Indian Constitution protects against this kind of situation by providing for the independence of the judiciary. 
अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर्स वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इज द सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर्स दिस एज यू रेड इन चैप्टर वन इज अ की फीचर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन what this means here is that other branches of the state like the legislature and the executive cannot interfere in the work of the judiciary the courts are not under the government and do not act on their behalf for the above separation to work well it is also crucial that all judges in the high court as well as the supreme court are appointed with very little interference from these other branches of government once appointed to this office it is also very difficult to remove a judge role of judiciary it is the independence of the judiciary that allows the courts to play a central role in ensuring that there is no misuse of power by the legislature and the executive it also plays a crucial role in protecting the fundamental rights of citizens because anyone can approach the courts if they believe that their rights have been violated agar aap apne syllabus ke sare chapters is format mein dekhna chahte hain to hame description mein diye gaye number par call kare aise hi aur educational videos dekhne ke liye hamare channel home revise ko subscribe kare